Hey everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. I'm in need of a new air compressor. The problem that I have is the one that I'm currently am using is very, very old, it's loud, and it's extremely heavy. I need one that will solve all those problems. Now currently, the one that I have is behind this wall, plus one more wall. It's actually about 50 feet away behind two different walls, and it's still loud. I can still hear it in the shop. And I have to be careful what I'm doing the filming because you're going to hear that air compressor in the background. In addition to that, if I need to grab that and take it to a job site, it's extremely heavy. I'm to the point, guys, where I'll be honest with you, I can't lift that air compressor very easily. So I need a new solution. Now, the new one also has to be able to operate uh, with the nailing guns. And I'm talking about the framing nailing gun because they take a lot of, of air pressure to be able to use and volume of air. So, I believe I found the solution. And the Vivor uh, mid-size air compressor, I believe is working perfect. Today, I'm going to take it out, demonstrate it, show it to you, see how it performs, and we'll decide together if this is going to be a workable solution. This air compressor comes almost fully assembled. The only thing that you really need to do, put the wheels and that front bumper on and the handle and the air filters and you're all set. Can't get much easier than that. But I'm gonna show you step by step anyway, just exactly how easy it is to be able to assemble this brand new air compressor. I have this little rubber boot that goes on to the front. And of course you have the nut and the bolt to be able to put it in. And it's real simple, you just drop it in here Slip that into the hole, tighten it, and that's it. Now I just use two fingers just to be able to hand tighten it. And once that's hand tightened, then I'm going to grab this wrench. Now this is a 13 millimeter, and this is all you need. You don't need to do anything else to be able to hold that bolt in place while you tighten the nut. Now it is just a little bit of a tight quarter, so you're going to take just a minute to be able to get it all snugged up there but it's really not bad. The bracket makes it where you can only turn about a quarter of a turn at a time. Now these wheels are equally as easy. They just have the one bolt that goes through there and you have a lock nut, which is that um, Teflon type lock nut. We'll put that on. Now this particular nut takes a 17 millimeter wrench. Now, I will need a little hex wrench here. Let me grab one of those. Now, the hex wrench that I'm using is a six millimeter. There we go. One wheel, flip it over and put the other wheel on. Just drops in, drops in there. All tight, works great. And this handle goes on very easily. It just slips down and then you can slip it off like that. Unfortunately, there's no little nuts that were included in here. So this will just slip on right like that. You can swing it up in position and then lock it in place. And it's not going to come off. I would like to have two little nuts on there to be able to secure that just a little bit better. And unfortunately, I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to get two little nuts for that. Now on a side note, I've been using this for a while and it has not been a problem without those nuts. The next step is to put the two air filters on. You need an air filter on each of these cylinders. Now they're very simple to install. All I'm doing is screwing them in by hand and hand tighten only. I really don't even see a need to grab a wrench to tighten any further. And so far, they have not come loose at all. So in my opinion, hand tightening is just fine. Now fill the tank all the way up as to the max pressure right now. And I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of hours. I wanna see if there's any leaks at all in this tank. So I'm gonna come back to this in about an hour and see how it's doing. And we're gonna check on this now over the next couple of hours just to see how it's doing. But I will tell you this, this unit is extremely quiet. And that was one of the big features that I wanted in this unit is to be able to have a very quiet machine. 
Now this is the pressure that's in the tank right now, and it does have a separate gauge over here that you can regulate with this valve right here to adjust the pressure down. And that's a nice feature to be able to have, of course, when you're operating different types of guns. Now with this pressure being right at this setting, we're gonna watch this over the next several hours, see how it does, and see if there's any leaks whatsoever. After about three hours, I'm back looking at the gauge and that is fantastic. I am not losing any pressure at all. So there are no leaks anywhere in this unit. Now let's take a look and see how easy it is to be able to lift this air compressor up from the floor up to the workbench. That's not bad, I can still lift that. Now this does have a handle that makes it very convenient and that's a lot better than trying to lift it by the motor or from the bottom of the tank. In addition to that, it does have the handle on the front side. So being able to grab hold of this and easily lift it up is not an issue at all. So as far as this first test, very successful. So it's time to put this unit to the test. I'm taking it outside. I'm actually redoing the stairs on the back of the house right now. And I'm to the point of having to just literally tighten the spindles on the handrail. Now this stair unit is actually about 20 years old and it's in need of repair. It didn't need to be torn down and completely rebuilt. It just needed to be repaired. Now I'm using an 18 gauge 2 inch nail to be able to secure these spindles one more time. And of course they had to be tapped back into position and tightened up. And that wasn't too big of a deal. But this little uh, air compressor and this nail gun was not an issue at all. Now it took about a half an hour to be able to secure all of these spindles. And this was a good test for the air compressor just to see how it would perform with this 18 gauge 2 inch nail that I'm using to be able to secure these spindles. And it did an outstanding job. So I'm very pleased with the performance of the air compressor with this 18 gauge 2 inch nail with this finishing gun. Did exactly what it needed to do. I also tried to do this where I was stapling literally as quick as I could just to see how much volume that the air compressor could handle. And again, it performed very well. And for those that are interested, I want to just show you the specs right out of the manual itself. And you can pause the video, take a look at this, and see exactly the different specifications. The one of the things that I really like is the decibels. It says that it's a 75 decibel. That's actually fairly quiet. That's within the normal voice range when people are talking. Now right now in the shop, it's actually fairly quiet. And with me just talking directly into the camera, we're looking at about uh, 65, 68 uh, decibels. What I want to do is turn on this uh, air compressor and be able to measure and see how loud it gets. I want to show you with the tape measure now exactly how far away that I am. If I put the tape measure right by the decimeter, measure, look over here, I am about 19 inches away from this unit. That's not very far. In fact, I'm standing directly above the air compressor now at about the same distance and just talking normally into the camera, you can see the readings that I'm getting from the decimeter. There's very little difference between a normal talk and the sounds of the air compressor. You can carry on a normal conversation and quite frankly, you don't need the ear protection for this compressor. Now let's make a comparison with the old air compressor that I've been using forever and ever. Now what I want to do next is to go out this way through these doors, through the other set of doors, like I said, two walls over into another room and be able to measure the decibels of that old air compressor. Very loud, yes, I will be wearing the hearing protection to be able to get the decibel reading on that one. Now I did turn the volume down so it just wasn't blaring in your ear, but you can see that this is running now on this old air compressor at about 89. And you can see the range there from 88 to 92. 
So big difference, and yes, I do have hearing protection on to be able to deal with this old uh, air compressor. Now I want to do the next test using this framing nailing gun. And if this air compressor can support this nailing gun, we've got a winner. Now what I'm going to be doing is just taking a couple of scrap pieces of wood. This is a 2x12 pressure treated that I'm going to use as a base and it was just left over from another project. And I have just a regular yellow pine 2x material that we're going to use and see how it performs. Now if I was doing the framing on a job site, this is the nails that I would use. This is a 10 penny nail, a uh, common nail with the head on it that I would be using. So this is what I'm going to use for the test. I want to make this as real as possible since I don't actually have any type of a job to be able to test this on the actual site. Well, I think that successfully passed that test too. As fast as I could shoot the nails, it was putting them into the wood. So there you have it. There are the results from the test that I did to be able to meet the requirements for this new air compressor. I think it passed with flying colors. So this is gonna be a great addition to the shop and it's something that I'll be able to easily transport to and from any site that I need to be able to have the air compressor with the nail guns. So if you like this video today, I hope that you'll take the opportunity to subscribe by hitting that little button right down below and the bell notification next to it. I would really appreciate it. Now I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching this video today. It was a lot of fun to be able to test out this new air compressor. It did meet all of my requirements. It is easy for me to be able to lift and move and transport wherever I need to be able to move it. And that's a big plus. And it's quiet. You can see with the decimeter, it was very quiet and within the normal range that people talk. And that is a big factor also. I put it to test with a finishing nail gun on the stairs that you saw. And in addition to that, the big test was with the framing gun. That framing gun, I was shooting those nails as fast as I could and it performed extremely well. And if it can do this, it'll be able to form just fine on the job site, wherever I need to be able to take it. So if you found this video useful, I hope that you'll take the opportunity to be able to subscribe and just hit that little button right down there below along with the bell notification. And I do want to thank everyone for watching this video today. I really appreciate it. And like I said, I hope that you found it useful. So for now, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next videos. So for now, bye-bye. Can't wait to see you real soon.